how do you prepare for something like we this? We don't really rehearse very much. In the, in the old days when we had Keith Moon and John Entwistle were still alive and we were touring all the time, we, we never rehearsed. It was kind of a principle. And I don't like to rehearse at all if I can avoid it because I think that... If it, if it feels good to go out there and, and just jump in, although some of the songs are tricky, so it's, you, you can forget them. But no, we haven't rehearsed at all, really. We did a kind of a, we did a run through yesterday where we put the gear out so that the roadies could rehearse. Um, and polish. It. I walked in and I started to play, and I realised that I actually can't play at all because I've spent a year playing the piano. I haven't touched a guitar. Roger started. You have no to, calluses. I looked. Right I, I looked. No, no, my fingers are. I looked around and Roger sung a couple of songs, then he was gone. He went. He said, oh, I'd had enough. He'd had enough. Two no, songs. No. And Lead singers. No, he was what gone. Yeah, yeah, I know. All of your songs are being used on CSI. Isn't that awesome? It is. Uh, Jerry Bruckheimer is a superstitious man, apparently. He used the, the song, uh, the first one, on the first uh, right. show. And then, was because the show was such a big hit, apparently he's superstitious, so he wanted to use a Who song on every show. Uh -huh. I think the next one that there's a possibility is a, a CSI London, maybe, that I'm talking about. Oh, goodness. And if that actually happened, I think he might break the chain there. I don't know quite what he would use, but oh, that right. would kind of me off. I've got a room full of plastic awards from various people to do with this project, and once we did a thing where in New York for... Is it, who's the company? Is it CBS? The, we, yes. We we went in and we did a, a show for the CBS execs. We just did the three songs. And, and as we, before we were going on, Roger looked at me and he went, this is creepy, this is weird, you know, because we were just going on and playing three songs for the, for the CBS guys. But I was really I glad to like do it. It's been, I've, I've met people, particularly from, from the Russian states, who pick up that show, who only know The Who through... Through the theme song. Through the theme song. That's fantastic. Can you pick a favorite CSI show and or theme song? He was in one. Oh, that's I've, right. I've never seen the show. Yeah. I've been in it, and I've never actually... Who did you, who did you I, play in it? I'm obsessed it's about true. it. Ashley I love true. it. I'm crazy about it. I yeah, love you, that you ginger that guy. And love that I that girl whose voice is so high, it's beyond the range of human hearing. <laughs> and, and, um, and, the, and the guy who came in as a busboy and who's now the star, I can't remember their names, but no. Right. Uh, great, great bunch of people. Good, great, good they guy. really are a great bunch of people. I think they need to do like CSI Fresno, or something like a tiny little <laughs> town, like the, the Motel Six or something like that, and they find a fiber and they don't know what it is. And yeah. I was on CSI, true story, and I played Guy in the Supermarket. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I oh, was, I had a bigger part. Oh, were you yeah, funny? I'm, I'm sure. You, I was kind of, I was, that was in my creepy stage. So I was doing, I was like, You're creepy. Not creepy yesterday. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I'm no longer creepy. I'm happy and wholesome. I can't believe I'm talking to the Who. I'm freaked out.